Ladies and gentlemen, I am with none other than world record holder, Dr. Kathy Sullivan. Famous astronaut, <laughs> first American woman to walk in space. It's been 30 years since your fantastic STS-31 mission. Right. And LEGO wanted to commemorate that brilliant, amazing event. And so they came up with this two-scale, 2,354-piece yeah. space shuttle. It is for 18 years and older, and I love that because LEGO's done a phenomenal job of really creating content for generations. First, let's talk about this front area. You see the windows in the upper deck here. Uh, that's where four people would be sitting for launch and landing. That's where you'd operate from while you're doing this because you've got windows back here and windows here. In the entire shuttle, there's only about this much right up here that holds air. It's okay. pressurized. It's the same pressure as we have right here. Mm -hmm. And it's got two and a half decks. It's got the deck below is where the airlock is and storage lockers. It's usually where we would sleep, either just drifting around a bit or maybe tethered onto one of the walls. Mm -hmm. It's not very big in any dimension inside this crew module. They've even got the docking ring and the umbilical back on the telescope. And man, that is very cool. These little yellow guys here, we called them the milk stools. Why are they called milk stools? They look like milking stools that you might sit on when you're milking a cow. But their job was just to be sort of bumpers so that if the telescope vibrated when it was bolted in the payload bay, this is sort of the delicate part of it. It wouldn't bash against the sides of the cargo bay. On our mission, when we took Hubble to orbit for the first time, uh, we didn't have any cradle like this to hold Hubble because it filled almost the whole cargo bay itself. And it would have been nestled all the way down in the bay and, and held in by some latches back here. So this could actually fit inside the telescope and you'd close these flaps? In the cargo bay, yeah. Yeah, so these solar rays would have been retracted onto these beams and then those beams would be folded up along the side. For sure. And it would all fit down in the cargo bay. Fantastic. I mean, this is unbelievable. And, and I appreciate the fact that you said Lego got this right. Even the Canada arm is actually looking legit as well, right? It's very cool. This is super duper stuff. To have been part of Team Hubble and be sort of what we call in Navy a plank owner, you help get it built and get it started. That was a five year span. It was one third of my career at NASA. I was involved with getting all the equipment needed to repair Hubble in orbit, ready and tested and positively assured that it would work. So find me some other satellite that's improved a thousand times while it was in orbit and lived to twice its life. That's the magic of Hubble. Anyone who's been on Team Hubble, it's like the signature thing of their space career. Sign up to LEGO VIP to watch the full interview with Dr. Katherine Sullivan to find out more about her mission as well as her thoughts on the future of space exploration and encouraging more young people into the extraordinary world of STEM.